Hey everyone, welcome back. So, final part of the lab. Uh, we're going to take a look at some infrastructure analysis. Alright, so um, in this part of the lab, we're going to take a look at some of the um, infrastructure extensions that we at IBM have made to the TOGAF metamodel and are providing in System Architect to enable you to capture um, CMDB information about the infrastructure of applications and technologies and so if you look at the TOGAF meta model the extended content meta model you'll see you have physical application components and physical technology components again this extended content meta model is a guide it's not a precise meta model meant to be deployed and, and, and most folks do extend it um, to capture aspects of the organization it's a good guide um, what we have done is extend it so that, um, for example, physical application component, system architect, for example, well, you have more information than that when the rubber hits the road in your organization. You have physical application component versions, for example, instances of applications running on um, servers, servers sitting out there on devices, right, or servers as a device sitting at a location. So um, we've extended the metamodel to capture some of that information, and I think the next slides talk about it. So here's here's some of our extensions uh, where you're looking at um, configuration items, which is something that CMDB tools like Tivoli Tatum pick up or, or harvest, and versions of applications um, and instances of applications and and operating systems and servers and devices. Um, this uh, Lenovo laptop that I'm running this um, uh, session on is a, is a device that has an operating system installed that has applications installed on it including System Architect that has technologies installed on it as well including SQL Server, the database for System Architect for example, um, JavaScript, uh, etc. So um, there's some slides here that talk about how configuration item, well that's an abstract item and, and these things inherit their properties from it. Um, so here's some examples. Now these extensions to infrastructure were put in um, back in System Architect 11.4 to something, 2.6, something like that, 2.5 um, and then, um, and so here's some examples uh, Enterprise Architecture Tool, System Architect, System Architect version 11.425, maybe that's when we put it in. And um, then you could say, well, an instance is really a license that's running license of the product installed to a server, etc. So um, this is one go at it. And, and then we've, uh, we, um, here's a, another chart that shows the connections in the meta model. Um, but we also made some changes to that in System Architect 11.4.2. I think it was seven, and um, we um, made it simpler. Um, and so that's the extensions that you've turned on in, in the front part of the workshop. And so um, this was a little too much information. Um, and so what we have now in this, and you can turn on the older extensions if you feel that they, they, you want to capture it to that level. But the the, um, the physical application instance and operating system instance. We've turned them off um, as definition types in themselves, and so you're capturing a physical application version, the device instance it's running on, and you're <laughs> capturing these um, um, uh, items as, as properties. All right? And so you have a device instance like my Lenovo laptop here, it's now 540, um, that has an operating system installed to it. The Windows 7 is an operating system and also it's it's installed to a device which has a physical app version running and that physical app version is a type of physical app right so um, I think it's pretty uh, neatly captured and that rhymes with for example if you're bringing in information from Tivoli Tatum um, which is the Tivoli application dependency discovery manager and you can use this with other tools as well other CMDB tools but you can see here Tivoli Tatum sniffs the network brings in information and um, uh, agentless, credential free, discovers interdependencies between applications, middleware servers, and network components. This is some of the structure it brings in. 
and our, our integration takes the XML out of Tivoli Tatum, maps it into a property set in System Architect, um, and then you can map that information in and you can do it on a regular basis so that you know uh, what rubber is hitting the road out there in the organization um, and map that into the enterprise architecture. So, time for Lab 8. Uh, we have provided you with an example import from a CMDB tool. Uh, you import that and then create a heat map, another heat map, another heat map landscape diagram which shows, I think, uh, locations, uh, risk um, at those locations of flood zone risk, and then showing the application versions and again with reporting you you don't have to show versions of applications that are out there you can you can uh, run reports that show the applications themselves that that the versions instantiate uh, you can do anything you want with reporting um, so um, you can build all kinds of landscape diagrams all kinds of analysis and so go ahead with uh, lab 8 and you'll uh, see what it's like and I think this is the last slide of the um, of the lab so uh, uh, thanks for watching these and I uh, hope you enjoy the workshop.